Hola, welcome to our Spanish lesson for today. First of all, you're going to be needing a little bit of equipment to help you with your learning today. So first of all, you need a piece of paper, something to write on, then a pen or a pencil to write with. You're going to need a little toy for throwing and catching like you did last lesson. And finally, you're going to need some coloring pencils or some coloring pens. So if you don't have those things in front of you, just pause the video now and go and get them and then press play when you're ready to continue. So what we're going to be doing today is first of all, recapping those numbers up to 15, then recapping how to say how old you are, and finally, some new learning. We're going to be starting to learn the colors and we're going to learn how to say and understand six different colors in Spanish. First of all, then, the numbers up to 15, you're going to need your toy for this. And what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to throw and catch our ball once for each number from cero to quince. So are you ready? Let's do it with me. Here we go. Cero. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. Did you manage it without dropping the ball? Shall we try once more? Are you ready? Here we go. Cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, Nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. Well done, and well done for counting those numbers up to 15 as well. So, last time we found out how to say how old we are in Spanish. We found that the question was, ¿Cuántos años tienes? How many years do you have? ¿Cuántos años tienes? In English, though, it sounds more sensible to say, how old are you? And we found out that to give your answer, you say, tengo, which means I have. Then you put the number for your age. And then on the end, we put años with a tilde, años, which means years. So instead of saying, I am eight years old, you say, I have eight years. Tengo ocho años, for example. Can you quickly tell me how old you are in Spanish? Very good. So we are going to do a little bit of listening practice now with the ages. And as you can see, there's some English ages written on the screen here. I'm going to say an age in Spanish and I want you to point to the one that you think that is in English. Okay, so point to the one I'm saying, but of course I'm saying it in Spanish. I want you to point to its translation in English. Are you ready? Here we go. Tengo dos años. Tengo dos años. Which one are you pointing to? Is it this one? Then you're correct. <clears throat> Next one. Tengo seis años. Tengo seis años. Which one is tengo seis años? It's this one. Well done. Next one. Tengo doce años. Tengo doce años. Which one do we need to point to? Tengo doce años. It's this one. It's 12, isn't it? Doce. Next one. Tengo cuatro años. Tengo cuatro años. Are you pointing to tengo cuatro años? Are you pointing to this one? Very good. One more. Tengo siete años. Tengo siete años. Are you pointing to tengo siete años? Are you pointing to this one? Then you're correct. Well done. Let's switch around 
And this time you can see there are some Spanish ages on the screen. And this time I'm going to be saying the age in English and I want you to point to how to say that age in Spanish. So listen carefully. Here's the first one. How do you say I am eight years old? I am eight years old. Have you found it? I am eight years old is this one. Tengo ocho años because ocho is eight. Next one. Which one says I am three years old? I am three years old. Which one do you think says I am three years old? Are you pointing? It's <clears throat> this one. Very good. Then next one. How do you say I am nine years old? I am nine years old. So are you pointing to this one? Tengo nueve años. I am nine years old. Next one. I am five years old. Which one says I am five years old? That's right. It's tengo cinco años. And the last one for you. Can you point to the one that says I am 15 years old? I am 15 years old. Which one says that? I am 15 years old. It's this one. Tengo 15 años. Very good. So let's move on and let's have a look at some colours. Now, altogether, we're going to be learning 11 different colours, but 11 colours, 11 new words all at once. That's a bit too much for most people. So we're going to split the colours into two groups. We're going to split them into a group of six and a group of five. And we're going to practice the first group lots and lots before we come on to the second group. So here's our first group. And I've put the words on there to help you. And you can see our friend Mickey is there and he's going to point for you to the colour that we are going to say. So are you ready to say them for me? Escuchad y repetid. Rojo. Rojo. Azul. Azul. Amarillo. Amarillo. Let's try those five, those three again. Rojo. Rojo. Azul. Azul. Amarillo. Amarillo. And now let's go along the bottom line. Verde. Verde. Negro. Negro. Blanco. Blanco. And let's try those three again. Verde. Verde. Negro. Negro. Blanco. Blanco. So there we are. There are our six colours. Now, let's have a little first practice of listening. I'm going to say one of the colours in Spanish. All you need to do is to point to the right one. So the first one is azul. Azul. Point to azul. It's this one. Next one. Verde. Verde. Are you pointing to verde? There it is. Next one. Amarillo. 
Amarillo. Amarillo. There it is. Next one. Blanco. 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 There's blanco. Next one. Rojo. Rojo. Which one is rojo? There we are. And finally, negro. 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 And there's negro. Very good. Let's have another go of saying those colors. Escuchad y repetid. Rojo. Rojo. Azul. Azul. Amarillo. Amarillo. Verde. Verde. Negro. Negro. Blanco. Blanco. Now, while we were saying those, you might have noticed some sounds that you weren't expecting. You might have noticed some sounds that Spanish makes that English doesn't. First of all, in the color red, rojo, we have to roll the first R because the first R in a word in Spanish has to be a R sound. Don't worry too much if you can't say it now. Just give it your best shot. And then it also has the letter J in it, rojo. And every time we see a letter J in Spanish, we have to say it as a h sound. H. Can you have a try of that? H. Now put it into the whole word, rojo. Very good. It's not easy, is it, for the first time? The second colour, azul, has a Z in it. And a Z in Spanish is always a th sound, like in the number diez. So we have to say azul. Then the color yellow has got those two L's, just like me llamo, one of the first things that you ever learned. And remember, if we have two L's, we have to say a Y sound. Amarillo. Amarillo. And then the last different sound is in verde, verde. Remember, when we see a V in Spanish, we have to say it has a B sound, like in the number nueve. So, B, verde. So, we have rojo, azul, amarillo, and verde, which have some slightly different sounds in. Now, there are two colours there that people sometimes get a bit mixed up with. And the two they get mixed up with are the colour black and the colour white in Spanish. Because sometimes they see blanco and think, oh, that looks a bit like the word black. It must be black. But of course, it's not, is it? It's white. How can we remember that blanco is white and not black? Can you find a way? That's right. It's blank, isn't it? Like a blank page. A blank page is white. So blanco is white. Now, what I would like you to do next is to take your piece of paper and your pen or pencil and also your colouring pencils and copy down the colours very carefully onto your paper and then draw a little shape or a picture or just a little scribble of some of that colour next to it so that you know which colour goes with which word. When you come on to white, what are you going to do? Well, if your paper's white, all you need is an empty shape, isn't it? So pause the video and copy down those six colours and write the colour words and draw a little bit of that colour. So oh, now that you've got the colours written down, ready for you to use, here we have another writing activity. We've got six different sentences and each sentence has got a word missing. And every time the word that's missing is a colour word. 
Now, let's have a look at the first one together so that you know what to do. It says, el coche es de color, and then there's the space. So, the car is of the color, and which color do we need to write in? That's right, blanco, because the car is white, so we need to put in blanco. El coche es de color blanco. So, now that you know what to do, press pause, have a go at all six sentences, and press play when you're ready to start again. So, here are the answers. El coche es de color blanco. El sol es de color amarillo. El tomate es de color rojo. El rotulador es de color azul. El gato es de color negro. And the last one. La rana es de color verde. Well done. Did you get all the colors in the right place? Fantastic. Now, that's our lesson almost finished for today. But if you want to practice the colors a little bit more at home before I next see you, you could take some little pieces of paper or some post-its if you have them, write the colors on them and use those to label things in your house. So, for example, if you have a door and the door's green, you could put a label on it that says verde. Have fun. Muy bien. Has trabajado muy bien hoy. Adiós.